But CO2. So, no. No. Uh-uh. That would be, we could do CO2. We'll figure out what CO2 is at. Let's do this okay. one first. Yeah, let's do this one first. So, remember, this is going, remember, down the periodic table and then back up it. So, remember, we went carbon had four, right, bonding pairs and, uh, so four electron pairs, four bonding pairs, no bonding pairs, right? Nitrogen had four electron pairs, you know, uh, three bonding pairs, one lone pair. Oxygen, uh, two and two, right? Uh, fluorine, one and three. Like one bonding pair, three lone pairs, right? If we looked at boron, what did it have? You guys remember? Three bonding pairs, and how many lone pairs? Zero, right? So what would be the one that has two bonding pairs and zero electron pairs? Be Beryllium? B-E, B -E, yeah, beryllium. Good call. Good call. Well, it should make sense if you look at the periodic yep. table. You know, that's all this is doing, going up and down the periodic table. So if you're tearing your hair out in frustration, it's because you don't understand the periodic table, okay? So just remember that you do understand the periodic table. And something like BE is going to have how many electrons? If we count them, Keep. one, two, right? So one, two, like that. And then hydrogen, of course, only has the one. Hydrogen has the one. BEH2. BEH2. So, has that got two electron pairs? Yes. Does it got two bonding pairs? Yes. No lone pairs? Linear? What's its molecular geometry? Straight. Linear? Linear as well, right? And um, this one is a linear molecule which we can have a bond angle for. 108. It's 180 bond angle. So, that long angle there is 180. Huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. Any questions on that one?